Today, I'm gonna tell you everything that will come to the Minecraft 1.19 update, which is known as the Wild Update. This update is gonna be massive. I'm gonna tell you everything coming to this update, but first, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notification bell so you'll never miss a single upload. Let's get straight into the video without further ado. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is mud. This is a mud block. Oh, I kind of like the look of the mud block. Oh, I like the look. It's gray. This is the gray. This is the lake sound. The mud block can be found in the new mangroves. Swamp biome, which I'll talk about later. Yeah, this is the block. So, yeah. The block can be used for building, of course. To get packed mud, you will need wheat and mud. <laughs> that does not even make sense to me. I guess. And it can be made into mud bricks. These are mud bricks. Yeah, they look pretty cool. <laughs> would you use these in your build? I would. Just look how cool they look. Oh, just look at the texture. And that's, this is what the packed mud is. It's made with mud and wheat. Once again, it looks cool. And those stair variants, slab variants, <laughs> do not forget wall variants. They look pretty cool. If you want to get mud, how do you get mud? Okay, if you want to get mud, use a water wood and water bottle on dirt not clay. You have to use the water bottle. Grass does not work. Yeah, use water to make mud. Mix water. Yeah, using dirt, of course, that would make sense. Because water and dirt in real life mixed together makes mud. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, the next thing coming to the 1.19 update. Uh-huh. We're getting a Trader Llama spawn egg. Which, of course... Oh! We can have... Can we have... Yeah, you might think you could be able to breed these llamas. Looks like you can't breed llamas. Okay, yeah. No. Okay, yeah, I'm a lagging on this. But whatever. I want to talk about the frog. This is what the frog looks like. Frogs will spawn in swamps and the mangrove swamps. They will eat... Baby slimes and baby magma cubes. They were planned to eat fireflies, but Mojang decided not to add fireflies because fireflies are poisonous to frogs. So we are gonna miss the fireflies a lot. There's three different variants of frogs. There are three different types of frogs, like there's one in the snowy biome that will be green. And the regular frog, the, the classic frog is going to be orange. And we yeah, like the frogs in the desert, dry, like in the dry biome, is like whatever, like peach something.
Yeah. And yeah. Frogs can be bred with slime balls, and they will follow you if you have slime balls in your hand. Uh, once you breed them, they will find the nearest water source, and then they'll start to lay eggs. <laughs> And make sure probably just protect the eggs. I mean, they kind of look cool. Do not break them. If you break frog eggs, then you are horrible. You are so horrible if you break frog eggs. And... Frog eggs will eventually hatch, and then we'll get these tadpoles. You can feed tadpole slime balls to speed the growth. Don't hit them. If you hit the tadpoles, then you are horrible. If you let them die, you are horrible. And don't hit a frog either, then you are horrible. Yeah, tadpoles can be put in buckets and make buckets of tadpoles and you can put them in any biome. Okay, one thing coming is, ooh, these frog lights. Ooh, frog lights look cool. Look what these are. Ooh, uh-huh, uh-huh, they look so cool. But they're kind of challenging to get. Uh-huh, you're gonna need magma creams. Okay, yeah, yeah. If you want to get frog lights, you're gonna have to let a frog eat magma creams. That is way too big for a frog to eat. Yeah. Okay, if you when he eats them, he will drag off a frog line. Of course, frogs have to have something to eat. What are frogs supposed to eat? And we have a lot of goat horns. We have goat horns coming into the game, and they make weird sounds. The way to get goat horns is when a goat bumps into a wall, then they will drop a goat horn. They're kind of difficult to get. Next, I want to talk about the skulk block. This is what a skulk block looks like, and not gonna lie, they do look cool. When you break a skulk block with your fist, it will drop XP. Yep, you can make an XP farm out of skulk. Yeah. If you use silk touch on it, you'll get the block itself. If you use a hoe on this, then you'll break it a lot faster. And there's not, that's not all. We have the skull vein, which looks like this. And it definitely looks cool. Like, you can even make blue magma. Of course, you can make blue magma. Just look at this. That looks like blue magma. Wow, this is cool. You can make your own blue magma block in Minecraft. I'm sure a lot of people would like, love this. And this is the Skulk Catalyst. Look at this. If a mob dies, then it will spread skulk around. Then we have the skulk sensor. When you walk near it, 
then it will activate. Yeah, skull sensors, oh my gosh. We have a new redstone in the game. Uh-huh. The only way to get it is in the deep dark ancient cities. And I do not want to use the Shulk Skulk Shrieker. The Skulk Shrieker is very, very dangerous. Watch out for the Skulk Shrieker. It's so dangerous. And Minecraft 1.18 is adding a new game mode, which is called Spectator. Now we can explore around this world. I want to talk about the ancient cities next. Now ancient cities are dangerous. As they have a horrible, horrible creature. An ancient city is a place where you have to be very, very quiet. Because it's dangerous once again. Now it's, this is going to be, this is going to get worse. We are in the most dangerous area in the game. Stay away from this area unless you have the Super dupe the best armor in the game. Like protection. Like make your armor. Make sure you have very, 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 very massive and super strong armor. Because this area is. This. This bar structure is dangerous. Welcome everyone to the ancient city. Mm hmm. Now we have the middle area here, which I think Minecraft is going to add a new dimension. Okay, let's just, I'm gonna let this load. I think it's right here. And yeah, this is not an you're not able to get this block reinforced deep slate. I think it's the slowest breaking block. I think it will take forever to mine. Yeah, reinforced deep slate you can't get the block. Not even with silk touch you won't get the block. Yeah, you're not able to get swift sneak. I mean no 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 reinforced deep slate. I think they are adding a new dimension. I think that's why the portal's there. Now, it is time for the most dangerous thing ever. This is the Skulk Shrieker. Do not mess with this thing. It is very dangerous. Look, uh, if I stomp on this, then it will, something horrible will happen. What? Yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, activating the Skulk Shrieker will make the Warden be summoned. Will, it will summon the Warden. The warden is very, very, very strong and super duper powerful. He does over 15 hearts of damage and he has a horrible, deadly attack. He has a massive sonic boom. If you're in the sky, yeah. Stay, run away from, if you find the warden, run away from it. Yeah, it can even follow you all the way back up to the surface, which is kind of crazy. Like, let, 
I'm gonna, I gotta show you guys. Like, where's the warning? Oh. Yeah, activating the skull shrieker is they do not activate it. Yeah, the deep dog. Oh, I can't. I need. Don't even see anything. Let me drink a night vision potion. Also, in the chest, you will find a, some disc fragments, and. This is going to be the very first craftable music disc in the game. The disc fragments can be used to make a new music disc. This is how it's crafted. Look at the music disc. Ooh, that looks amazing. And we're getting a new item in the game. Hmm. We're getting the week. Recovery compass, which is crafted with a compass in the middle and echo shards all around. Uh -huh. The recovery compass will point to your lost items. But you wouldn't even have to. Do not use this in hardcore Minecraft. You can't use this in Hardcore Mine. It's useless in Hardcore Minecraft because you can't even respawn in Hardcore. You only have one life in Hardcore. Okay, yeah, the Skulk Shrieker will summon the Warden. Stay away from the Warden right now. He is the most dangerous mob in the game. By far the strongest mob in the game. He is so tall. He can attack any mob. And he can even attack hostile mobs. Okay, enough with the warden and stuff. Let's get on. Okay, we have a brand new... We have many new items. Oh my gosh. Uh huh, this is a Java feature only. Like the paddles on the boats will, and today will only be the oak variant. But the paddles on the boats will have the, the type of wood they have. Yeah, that's you know, like a Java. Day. I don't know what I'm talking about. The Java feature only. Bedrock, all, it's not going to be in Bedrock because Bedrock already has it. Okay, we have the alley. The alley looks like this. And the way to get an alley is you have to rescue it. You have to rescue it from the village or all outpost or the prisons in the Woodland Mansion. Which Woodland Mansions are very rare. Like, imagine me wanting, just trying to give... Like, okay, the, like if the alley will bring items back to where it, yeah. Yeah, you can bring items back to diamonds. Yes, do not steal diamonds. I'm not going to show off the mangrove swamp. But you'll find it when you explore 1.19. But there is a... Like, boat with... There's chess boats coming in the game. Like, we have seven different types of chest boats. We need crimson and warped chest boats. Yeah, yeah. Boats. Chest boats are 
scrap with a bow and a chest. And yeah. Then you can explore the, the sea. And if your inventory is getting full when you're exploring in the water or ocean, then put the items in the, ch the boat with chest. And of course, I, huh, I don't... Yeah, in Minecraft 1.19, there's a new type of wood being added into the game and a tr new tree. Like, if we grow this tree, oh, look how beautiful that looks. And this is the only type of tree that grows its own sapling. Yeah, you can be the growth of it. Yeah, these are the only types of trees that grow the sapling. And they will grow with some moss carpet. These are mangrove roots, which kind of look cool, but let's break into here and see the mangrove logs. Yeah. Also, guys, did you know that I'm going to uh, make a survival series? I'm planning on making a survival series when 1.19 comes out, and it's going to be a big, big series. Okay, yeah, whatever. And this is the mangrove log. And yeah, muddy mangrove roots. And you put mud and mangrove roots together. And you have this block. Oh, it kind of looks cool. Oh, I like the look of the block. And mangrove roots. And this is a kind of cool looking block. You can use this block as, if you make this as a wall, then yeah, it would look like the wall is about to fall apart. Like a very, very, very old wall. Mm -hmm. We have a mangrove log, which looks cool. I like the red of it. It kind of looks like meat. Yeah, it kind of, the mangrove log looks kind of tasty. It looks delicious. The mangrove log can be crafted into new mangrove planks. In the snapshots, mangrove logs and planks looked like jungle wood. Then Mondrang changed it. I did not want... Yeah, yeah. This is a new looking cool wood. I can't wait to be able to build with this wood. It just looks so awesome. And we are getting mangrove stairs and the mangrove trap door. Mangrove fences, mangrove uh, fence gates. We're getting pressure plate, mangrove, mangrove pressure plates. But my favorite part of this trap door is oh, like, I like the circle of them. Oh, I like it. Ah, yeah. I'm gonna love mangrove wood. It's gonna look cool. And it will, you'll find it in the mangrove swamp biomes. But yeah, I think that's all. Also, yeah, they're adding a new leaf. Of course, they're adding a new leaf, and yeah, hold on. Okay, I think you're going to be able to waterlog leaves in Minecraft 1.19. Yeah, you can waterlog leaves. I don't know if Bedrock, I think Bedrock Edition had this. Java Edition has not had this feature. Oh, Abandoned Villages. Oh, these are rare. They are gone. They, as of Minecraft 1.18, these have became extremely rare structures. Oh, uh, if you don't know what 
banded villages are they just like villages with the all the villages zombified and all the cobblestone is mossy and there's webs all over the place uh huh that's what I'm a banded village is and there it is everything coming to the minecraft 1.19 update I know, I know, this has been a long, long video, but don't worry, oh yeah, mm -hmm. what in the world do we have here, huh? an outpost, what in the world at all, outpost, with no alleys? Mm-hmm. Well, anyone, thank you for watching this video. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. And please turn on the notification bell so you will always get notified every time I make a video. Okay, everyone? Have an amazing day. Bye.